In this video, I'm going to show you how to mic your acoustic guitar. For this, you'll need a microphone, a microphone stand, an XLR to XLR cable, and an acoustic guitar. Attach the microphone to your mic stand. Now, set up a microphone stand in a comfortable position where you can easily position the microphone towards the guitar. Make sure it's secure to the stand, but easy enough for you to move around to experiment with different micing techniques. Adjust the height and angle of the stand to ensure it's at a suitable level for capturing the sound of the guitar. Finally, take the XLR cable and connect one end to your microphone, and then the other end to an input of your scarf. Condenser microphones require phantom power to operate, while dynamic microphones don't need phantom power. You can usually tell the difference by looking at them. Dynamic microphones tend to look like this, whilst condenser microphones tend to look a bit more like this. If you're unsure about the microphone you're using, check the microphone manufacturer's website or product documentation. Because I'm using a condenser microphone, I'm going to switch phantom power on Simply press the 48V button and your condenser microphone will be ready to use. You can also control these settings in the Focusrite Control 2 software. Monitoring allows you to hear your acoustic guitar whilst experimenting with microphone techniques and recording. Simply press the direct button on the front panel of your Scarlett from when direct monitoring has been switched off. Simply press the direct button on the front panel of your Scarlett from when direct monitoring has been switched off. Press it the second time to switch it off completely. This is really useful when recording through a door, like Ableton Live, as there are sometimes small delays between when you play and when you hear a sound. Now we can hear ourselves play, we'll start by positioning the microphone for the best sound. We recommend using headphones whilst experimenting with different micing positions so you can really hear what the microphone captures. Position the microphone about 6 to 12 inches away from the acoustic guitar sound hole. Angle the microphone slightly towards the 12th fret of the guitar to capture a balanced sound. You can experiment with microphone placement by moving it closer or further away from the guitar to achieve your desired tone. You can also try different angles for variation in sound. Once you're happy with this, secure the microphone stand. Chances are you'll be moving around to get ready to record. Try and remember the microphone and stand placement by taking a photo on your phone. 